the very first Lord's Supper, an arch book. As Jesus walked toward Jerusalem, where he would observe the Passover, he called to Peter and then to John, these two disciples and no others. Go into town ahead of me. There you'll find a big room where we can stay to celebrate. I'll be there with you soon. When Jesus finished talking, off went Peter and John. They met a man as Jesus had planned, and to his house they went on. They arranged the room with table and chairs. They brought roasted lamb, wine, and bread. When all this was done, the master came with his disciples, as he had said. As they sat down for the Passover meal and paused for a blessing to be offered, Jesus spoke to his friends, Eat this meal with me before I must suffer. Jesus took the bread, gave thanks, and he broke it for all to see. This is my body given for you. Take, eat, and remember me. After supper was done, he raised his cup. When the men were all quiet, he said, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. For your forgiveness it is shed. As Jesus talked, Judas slipped from the room with the priests he had promised to meet. This was the night he'd betray his own Lord. His assignment would then be complete. Pete, whoa. Peter, the man who was always so bold, said, Lord, as I live and I have breath, no matter what happens, I'll stay by your side, both in prison and later in death. The Lord shook his head. No, Peter, he said, before the cock even crows, you'll have claimed that you're not one of my own and that Jesus you don't even know. Then they walked to Gethsemane so Jesus could spend time in prayer, taking Peter, James, and John with him. He asked them to watch with him there. Jesus asked them to pray. He slipped away and knelt down alone. Then God's son prayed that his burden be lifted from him, but that God's will would be done. When he'd finished, he walked back to his friends who'd slept through his prayer on the mount. They woke up with a start, hearing noise from afar of men coming, too many to count. The multitude walked right up to the Lord. Out from the crowd, Judas stepped. He walked straight to Jesus and gave him a kiss, his promise to the priests he had kept. They took Jesus straight to the high priest's house. Peter hid himself deep in the crowd. A woman saw Peter and yelled, You're with him! No, not me. Peter's voice was quite loud. Denied and alone, Jesus faced the high priest. Are you the Christ? the man asked. I am, said Jesus, the one sent by God. The priest tore his clothes in disgust. The priests and leaders took Jesus to Pilate, the judge who would send him to the cross. They didn't know they were a part of God's plan to save us and heal all our loss. That is the very first Lord's Supper, an arch book.